welcome, welcome, welcome back to another fun and exciting episode of Twying Game, where today we are going back into Raid Shadow Legends. And here I have written down some notes of the game, and I'm going to play it with you to give you the tips and tricks on what we had missed in the last video. All right, as you can see here, there's a new player rewards. We can collect that. Which is actually one of my favorite army sets that I've noticed in game. They have a lot of ads that pop up right at the beginning here. So just kind of sit here and go bloop, 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 bloop. First, we'll go into quests. So you have your daily, weekly, monthly, and achievements. Always just look at the daily quests, get them done as best as you can. Collect your rewards. First we're going to go into portal. Now as you can see, I have uh, mystery shards, ascension shards for a rare epic or legend, void shards for rare epic or legend, and sacred shards for rare epic or for epic or legend. So for ascension shards, what you can do is you can summon, and then there's fusion, but I don't have anything for fuse yet. And uh, you can hit the question, uh, the I button, if you have any questions about that. Let's go back to summons. I'm just doing, gonna do a couple summons here, even though I usually wait till I have ten. Now this game is like 90% about the silver. So if you're summoning something, it also, even though you have the shards, costs money to summon them. So these ascension shards cost 20 for each ascension summons. And so do the void summons as well as the sacred summons. The only one that doesn't cost any coin is the mystery summons. So these ones cost 20,000. These ones also cost 20,000, and these ones cost 100,000, even though you still have the shards to summon them. Now this game is mainly about money. You don't have money, you can't do anything. This is the referral program, and there's actually an Amazon Prime that you can do and collect. I do have Amazon Prime, I'm just not going to hook it up right now. Alright, um, I'm going to go into Battle Pass. So these are the challenges that are going on right now. So once you do them, you'll get these little battle points. And then when you get enough battle points, you'll get rewards. And then we also have the missions that I had told you about. And then we also have missions. So I have an artifact mission right now to equip a rare attack type champion with six offensive artifacts. Now I did already tell you about the quest, so I'm just going to claim it and get out of here. Then we have the index. So every time you summon a new guy, if you haven't had him in your index yet, it'll pop up with a red circle. You just click on it, and then you can click out of it. As far as I know, that's the only way to get rid of the red circles. And if you're like me, you need to get rid of the red circles. It's, 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 it's a nagging feature. Ooh, my first war. And he's rare. He's rare. <laughs> Bad joke, okay. Uh, oh, oh, did I miss one? No, okay. So these are the champions. These are my champions thus far. Uh, as you can see, I have all hearts on this dark elf here. And it says in sets of two that I get 15 for each set I get. Now for her, it shows a set of four and then I get the bonus. So I have a set of four on her right now. If I put two more of the same one on her, 
it won't do anything. I won't get an extra bonus for it. So it's best to put two of something else that uh, will give me a bonus with a set of two. So as you can see, beside all these sets, they have a number. So set of two, set of four, set of two, set of two, set of two. That is something that you really need to pay attention to. Because as I can say, as I said before, you can only attach six total. So I have the set of four when attached, which is amazing. Heals by 30% of damage dealt. So every time my character does damage, they get 30% of that back onto their health bar. I love this one. I love it. This one here, which is the bear, has a, a she, uh, an axe and a hand. I have a hand. I could put the shield on and then I could use the axe in the hand. Alright, let me show you something that really sucks. Okay? This really sucks. I click on it, the item that's on my thing, and I want to remove it. It costs me money to remove, so this is why putting things on your characters is really important that you think about it before you do it. So I'm just going to remove this one. I'm going to put this one and then I'm going to equip her with this and this one. So now she has two stats. She gets the 30% of damage dealt healing and 15% more damage done which means my healing is going to go up and 50% uh, HP shield for three turns. But what I'm going to do is upgrade these quickly. Now there's the regular upgrade button, which is orange-ish. And then there's the blue one, which you can click the gear. And I usually go all the way up to eight. And then I just press upgrade. It'll automatically go all the way up to eight. Even if there's a couple of fails in there, it'll get it to eight until you're done. Or until it gets done. So you've got two fails. just keeps going until I get 8. You can press the cancel button if you think there's too many fails going on. It'll tell you your chance of upgrades. So just above the defense where it says epic to the right of it is it says medium. So there's a medium percent chance of success. <laughs> Alright. And I, am, I have to go out and then do that to these ones as well as well. My goodness, my tongue tied today. Now I don't know if I'm going to have enough um, silver to get this all done, but I'd like to get it as close as possible. See it change from high to medium. Oh good. No fails on this one. Let's see if I'm as lucky with this one. And here it says uh, new bonus stat at level 8. That is why I want to get there. I like level 8. It's a good level. And for the singular upgrades, it does show you how much you're spending on each upgrade while it's doing that as well. There. Attack plus 11. Which means even more health will be coming back to me every time I attack somebody. There's also the playtime rewards, so for however long you've been on. I've been on, as you can see, already for five minutes. And so I get that reward, and then it just goes on further. Sometimes it's good just to leave your phone on so that, you know, you gather the rewards, even if you're not quite in the middle of the game. I haven't really been playing the campaign too, too much. I've actually been in the dungeons. Because in the dungeons, you collect, let's go into one of these here, you collect these magic potions, and with these magic potions, I'm just going to jump out here, you go to the tavern, and you would click on your people, and you would go to ascend. I need four lesser potions and two lesser white potions. And I can press the ascend button and it'll make it so that 
he'll get one extra star, so he'll be stronger. Yeah, okay. And uh, we can also upgrade skills, because I got a skill book. You can't click on what skill you want to upgrade, unfortunately, it's random. Nice. My heal is now level 3. And so is my attack. I'm getting strong. That's, that's my favorite character right there. Of course, I always usually play as healers if I can in most games. So I kind of favor the healer. So my healer is kind of overpowering right now. Alright, now that we're into battles, as you can see, uh, for each section, there is a little symbol. So the first one has a heart, the second one has a sword, the third one has a little castle thing. Those are the types of equipment that you will get in each battle. I actually need a couple more different equipment from this one. Let's quickly go back and find out. So the one champion I was equipping was him, so I need a hand and a shield. I wrote those down in my little notebook so that I remember for when I get back here because my memory is like a sieve. Alright, a hand. And because I've already done this battle, I am going to just do three. So now it's going to play for me. I mean, I could still play, but I have it on auto battle. All right, we are in the battles right now. I'm sorry about that interruption. We have finished the, this one. I got a hand. It's only a one star. We're going to go on to the next one. And my characters are amazing, so look at things like the these play. I'm going to fast forward and see where this goes. <laughs> if you've noticed that I haven't talked about certain things, like specific battling techniques and stuff like that, all of the other things that I haven't said in this video are in my previous video. So definitely go check that one out if you haven't found something that you are looking for. But you'll have to wait till the end of this video to see if there's something that I haven't talked about. So you'll have to watch it all the way through. Alright, so for all three battles, my character's still only got one star gloves. But, that is okay. Let's go back to the base. Offensive is attack, is it not? Oops. There. Finally getting it. After I almost botch it. I don't think I'm going to need those anyways because he's got a good equipment on, doesn't he? Yes, he does. And she does. He does. He's got nothing on. He's naked. Actually, I'm not going to go and uh, get the entire set because you already know what that does. All right, let's see. We've done the tavern. All right, to unlock the mine, you need 500 gems. And then once you get that unlocked, you will actually start producing gems. So it, I think in the long run, it's worth it. I have had it before. I just haven't quite gotten there yet in this game. 
In Champions, I actually haven't touched on this yet, but there's skills. And with skills, you've seen that you can upgrade them. But uh, we can click on them and see what they do. So this is what will happen with Ascension. And then there's Mastery, which I would love to show you guys. I just don't have any things to use this now. So I would need five to unlock that. And you could do any one of these, even though the character itself is like, say, offensive or support. But to get those, you'd go into dungeon and you would battle the Minotaur. And then you can get achieve those. Um, the one I find I have a problem with is the Spider Den. I seem to have a problem with this one. This is a kill it quickly because it spawns and spawns and spawns and spawns and spawns. More and more and more and more. Uh, I have done the Dragon Lair and the Ice Golem before. Those aren't too bad. Um, this guy, he's always on because you always need these potions. But the other ones uh, are only on on certain days. So like Saturdays, Fridays. This one's open today, Wednesdays. And then the other one's only open on Thursdays. So if you have a certain type that you like the most, you must be on on that day to get those things to grow them the strongest they can be. Alright. Um, I think that's it for the champion stuff. Except for... I could attach a ring. But it's still, still locked. Because she's not four stars yet. But once, once we get them four stars, we'll be able to do it. We'll see. And I haven't quite unlocked the market yet. Actually, I'll be right back. I'll get the market unlocked. Come on. All right, everybody. I did get to level 18, and now we finally have the marketplace. In the marketplace, you could buy rare items, and you could keep unlocking further down, so that you have more choices on things that you want to unlock. And it's you. Sometimes the rare items are further down, but sometimes they're up here too. So it's not always best to unlock everything, but if you have spare change lying around, which I hardly ever do, unlock it. Only if you have spare change. I don't have spare change. All right, guys, that is it for everything I need to show you in Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time in the next video. Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you can catch me every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Mountain Center Time. This is Twy and Game. Twy out. To what we have, we take us to the end.